Welcome back. We're gonna battle one last time for the fourth and final game. Let's roll. Okay, that's a hand we don't want to keep. That, however, is a pretty solid redraw. Granted that we find the third power a bit earlier this time. Or at least enough stuff that we can play into. Warcry guy turn one. Probably torch plus patrol turn two. Any one does. Okay, just patrol it seems. But we're gonna have torch open, and we find the power. That's pretty great. Not the power we need for scepter, but we can have sword, which is almost as good, or even better depending. And we have a torch for like a smuggler or something. Turn. Yep. There we go. Seems like sword is gonna be kind of better here anyway. Although, I was about to say, if we draw the fire, I would play the scepter rather sooner than later because of the Reaper on 5. And it's a lot of war cry and damage. A bit more damage over multiple times than this, and makes it harder for the opponent to kill this with like a torture. They might have to torture you. Well, yeah, now we do a 3 3 crown watch, we can pay into a harsh wall, which is pretty nice. And this deck, in particular, isn't very good at getting rid of this. Aegis end of turn. Like, if the opponent had a torch, they would have used so we can just play this safely. And then hopefully follow it up with Shogun Scepter in turn on Paladin. Yep. Fire influence, please. Well, that didn't work, but at least we can play another unit to force the opponent to have answers. Like, they need to kill both units, or like a unit. Up enough. Drop. That's enough. Let's see if the opponent have anything else. Lions. But yeah, we still have a weapon. What kind of weapon? The opponent might play Ikari here and kill our weapon. But if we draw fire, we just slap Scepter on it and force the Ikaria to jump. Still missing fire on this. A bit annoying. This is Magic Cup's list. Who won the tournament and there's not anything threatening yet here. Okay, so it's double unit. That's not what we needed here. Okay, so we attack. Can't double block. Made us take less damage, which is nice. Not even sure if I want it. don't even have the quick draw here for the gun down, which works. I guess we have to do this. Because he's gonna like all in quick here. We could draw a smuggler to just like smuggler Warhelm. Because now we don't have a unit in. Really unfortunate. There's the fire. Wait. Yeah, we might lose the game because of it. But yeah, we can still hope for like Who says you can't play with uh, torch. Rise up or be cut down. 
that's pretty solid. Does that kill the carrier? And throw the hauling beam. Pretty good. I think I fine playing this. Because we're probably gonna put like a separate rocket anyway. Alright. Of course he top decks the rune hammer with the carrier buff. Must be nice. Yeah, and now we don't even have that good oats. Which is pretty annoying. But at least we can force the weapon to die if he doesn't have room. So there's some hope, but not a lot. And the Vanquish kills Caleb, so that's good. We have two units. Nope, we don't. I mean, we can still win. Smart life, the opponent has nothing, but it's unlikely. That helps a bit. Because it kills the weapon, gives us threat. The opponent has five cards, so there will be something. That at least means that. Not helping. Relic weapon was set up with one again. Watch two. Yeah, now we're dead. Alright, pretty unfortunate. We yeah, lost the game because we couldn't find an additional fire. <laughs> which is kind of sad. I guess there's an argument maybe the deck should be 751. Actually, yeah. Probably like change the deck to 751 because we have double fire on 3 and we have the, we have more fire 1 drops. And uh, the champion where fire is more important. So yeah, I would probably do that. Um, yeah, so that's the deck. We went 3 and 1. Very close and unfortunate loss um, against a tier 1 deck, which happens. But all in all, I like my matchup again. That deck as well. I think I even beat Magic Carp in the event, but I'm not 100% sure. And yeah, that's um, that's it with um, my latest deck tech. Hope you guys enjoy the deck. Give it a try. Uh, Expedition is pretty decent right now, so um, quite a fun format and a nice diversion from regular Eternal. You're looking for something different. Because it can get stale at times. And yeah, as usual, you know the drill. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notification icon, drop a like if you enjoy the content, share it with your friends, and please turn off um, your ad block or just whitelist eternaltitans.com and YouTube on your ad block. That's a great way to help me and other uh, content creators uh, keep making free content for you guys. And of course, if you want to further support me, Check the description down below for Patreon um, donation links and other stuff like that. Um, all right, that's it again for this time. I'm your host, Manuel. I thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.